Hello everyone, welcome to Maneuver Education and today we will discuss the weekly current affairs, the world this week, third week of March 2022. So let us start, but before we begin to start, I want to discuss that if you are preparing for the low entrance examination, MB entrance, TIS examination and government bank examination and if you are also preparing for BB entrance, hotel management entrance and beard entrance and SSCGL, so don't worry, Maneuver Education is here and if you are interested for this particular courses, so Google form link is available in the description where you can fill the very easily as per your requirement and our counseling team will contact you and will definitely guide you okay if you are the new family member of the maneuver education so please subscribe our channel in the youtube and we have also social media platform where you can get the regular updates if you are looking for the online and live classroom coaching so just contact on 8828181455 and if you are looking for classroom coaching at the mumbai so we have a three centers borivali vasai and the dadar so you can visit our center also and you can also visit our website which is called the manaveredu.com so let us start with the first question which product is russia's biggest contribution to global trade okay सो so, रिसेंटली हम लोगों ने जो रशिया और यूक्रेन की न्यूज़ पढ़ी तो उसमें आप लोगों को पता होगा कि यूएसए ने बैन कर दिया था इंपोर्ट बैन किया था रशिया से ठीक है तो कौन सा सेक्टर था डिफेंस इक्विपमेंट क्रूड पेट्रोलियम रिफाइंड पेट्रोलियम या स्टील सो करेक्ट आंसर इज द क्रूड पेट्रोलियम ओके सो यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई दिस फोटो ओवर हियर रशियाज बिगेस्ट कंट्रीब्यूशन टू ग्लोबल ट्रेड इज एनर्जी एस्पेशली क्रूड टू पेट्रोलियम यूएसडी वन बिलियन इट इज फॉलो बाई द रिफाइंड पेट्रोलियम एंड द गेसिस Recently, Russia announced an export ban for more than 200 products after it was hit by sanctions over the invasion of Ukraine. Russia still remains a key energy supplier to European Union countries. Okay, so you have to remember this particular thing regarding the Russia and regarding this global economy. Okay, so that is correct answer: crude petroleum. Let us move on the next question. So, uh, PLI scheme for drone and drone components was announced by which union ministry? Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Civil Aviation, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of MSME. So, correct answer is the Ministry of the Civil Aviation. You have to remember this thing. So, you can clearly identify this photo. that is called the drone okay the ministry of civil aviation has invited application for the production linked initiative pli scheme for the drones and drones components that was announced in 2021 okay so this particular pli scheme the initiative under uh, for manufacture of the drones and drone components will be 20% of the value addition we can say that and made up by the country during the next 3 years the scheme was announced in september 2020 21, okay? तो यहां पर आप लोगों को यह भी समझना है कि जो हम लोगों ने डोमेस्टिक ड्रोन है उसको बैन कर रखा है we always produce the domestic drone in our india as well as but if a, a particular drone which is called the defense technology drone to usko hum log uh, export kar sakte hai usko hum log bahar se mangwa sakte hai theek hai to ye sari cheeze aap log yahan par yaad rakhe but india banned the domestic drone as well as okay let us discuss the next one pandrithan temple which was seen in the news recently is located in which indian state or ut union territory okay so west bengal jammu kashmir himachal pradesh gujarat so correct answer is the jammu and kashmir so you have to remember this thing so correct answer is the jammu kashmir you can clearly check this photo regarding this temple pandrithan temple is an 8th uh, 8th century heritage site situated in the badam uh, badami ga uh, bag बदामी बाग ओके श्रीनगर जम्मू कश्मीर द चिनूर कॉप्स ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी हैज रिज्यूमिनेटेड द साइट रिसेंटली इन दिस रिगार्ड द यूनिट वॉज अकॉर्डेड रिकोगनीजन बाय द नेशनल मूवमेंट्स ऑथोरिटी एन एम ए ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ द कल्चर द साइट होट्स सेवरल फिग फिगरीन ऑफ सेकेंड सेंचुरी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द टू लार्ज मोनोलिथिक रॉक शिवा लिंगम्स सेवंथ गांधर स्टाइल स्कल्चर्स अमॉन्ग द अदर्स ओके सो यू कैन क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई दिस टेम्पल विच इज लोकेटेड इन द Jammu and the Kashmir. Okay, let us move on the next one. What is the name of the policy advocacy arm for the power and related sectors formed under the Power Ministry, Power Foundation, Energy Foundation, Green Power Foundation, or the Central Power Society? Okay, so correct answer is the Power Foundation. 
so you can uh, identify the description regarding the power foundation uh, central public sector enterprises cpsc stands for the central public sector enterprises so that is including ntpc power grid rec uh, pfc nspc thdc uh, nipco and sgvn registered the power foundation as a society okay so we can say that it is a house as the primary policy advocacy arm um, for the power and related sectors regarding this and it aims to assist states and industries with research and develop uh, and to uh, develop the particular solution of the india's energy transformation so you can uh, clearly identify the rk singh the minister of power and the new renewable energy is the society chairs okay so you have to understand this thing let us move on the next one uh, rashtriya indian military college stands for the rimc okay seen in the the news recently is located in which indian state kerala uttarakhand himachal pradesh or the maharashtra so correct answer is the uttarakhand india's oldest military school uh, rashtriya indian military college it stands for the r i m c okay clear r i m c turned 100 years old recently so it is located in the dehradun uttarakhand uh, the military training institution was inaugurated in march 1990 uh, 1922 by the man prince of wales okay rimc is the primary feeder institute for the naval uh, national defense academy and the naval academy ismala okay so it produces a public sec uh, public school education to students in the age group of the 11.5 to 18 years so aap agar apne jo rishtedar hai usme se ya relatives me se koi hai to yahan par aap usko bhej sakte hain theek hai so that stands for the rimc okay let us move on the next one uh, khel mahakumbh is a sports event held in which indian state kahan par ye khel mahakumbh uh, uh, jo sports tha uska organization uh, organized hua tha we can say that okay gujarat uttar pradesh rajasthan aur madhya pradesh so correct answer is the gujarat okay to yahan par aap dekh sakte hain photo to ye jo likha hai ramshe gujarat jis se gujarat khel mahakumbh 18 february 2022 thi registration shuru तो यहां पर ये गुजराती लैंग्वेज में लिखा हुआ है प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इनोग्रेटेड द इलेवंथ एडिशन ऑफ खेल महाकुंभ इन अहमदाबाद गुजरात द इवेंट स्टार्टेड विद दिक्सटीन स्पोर्ट्स एंड द थर्टीन लैक पार्टिसिपेंट्स इन 2010 थाउजेंड एंड वॉज लेटर इंक्रीज टू थर्टी सिक्स जनरल स्पोर्ट्स एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स पेरा स्पोर्ट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ड्यू टू दिस पर्टिकुलर कोविड नाइनटीन वी कैन से दैट द खेल महाकुंभ वॉज नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ओके सो लेटस मूव ऑन द which institution released the directions of the uh, regulatory framework for microfinance loans to yahan par maine aap logo ko microfinance ke liye bataya tha jiski aap logo ko agar 1 lakh rupaye se bhi kam loan chahiye rahegi to you have to go uh, go for the microfinance institutions jaise ke uh, small finance companies rehti hai usko aap uh, approach kar sakte hain theek hai so nabard rbi ministry of finance aur ministry of corporation ye kiske uh, uh, through ye release hua hai ye cheez aap logo ko yahan par पर बतानी है ठीक है सो करेक्ट आंसर इज दी रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आरबीआई सो रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हैज रिलीज्ड द आरबीआई रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क फॉर माइक्रो फाइनेंस लोन्स डायरेक्शन 2022 व्हिच विल बी इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम अप्रैल 1 2022 under the directions RBI asked regulated entities RES lending to the microfinance segment to ensure that loans are collateral free and not linked with a lien on the borrower's deposit account RES will also ensure repayment obligation are kept interest rates are not insurers uh, and there is no prepayment penalty okay so you have to keep it uh, keep in your mind okay तो ये सारी चीजें आप याद रख सकते हैं लेट अस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट वन विच कंट्री हैज बीन कनेक्टेड टू द कंटिनेंटल यूरोप सिंक्रोनस एरिया विच स्टैंड फॉर द सी ई एस ए ओके ये चीज याद रखिए चाइना यूक्रेन कजाकिस्तान एंड अफगानिस्तान ओके सो करेक्ट आंसर इज द यूक्रेन so ukraine has been uh, recently to continental europe synchronized area it stands for the cesa okay ye cheez yaad rakhiye uh, it is an electric city grid spanning much of the continental europe this step will <coughs> sorry uh, this step will allow ukraine to decouple its power system from the hostile russia uh, though this move was planned after russia's annexation of crimea 2014 the recent russian invasion has fast tracked the uh, decision to yahan par aap logo ko yaad hoga ki ye jo hai 
पूरा इंडिया का मैप है आ, ये इंडिया का मैप है ये पूरा वर्ल्ड का मैप है तो यहाँ पर आप रशिया अगर देखें तो यहाँ पर रशिया ने उसको 2014 में क्रीमिया को एनेक्स किया था और यही एक कंट्री था जो यूक्रेन को आ, के नाम पर जाना जाता है विच इज स्टैंड टू कनेक्ट एड टू द कंटिनेंटल यूरोप सिंक्रोनस एरिया इज स्टैंड फॉर द सी ई एस ए ओके लेटस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट वन विच कंट्री रिसेंटली पास सनसन प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट मेकिंग डे लाइट सेविंग टाइम डी एस टी परमानेंट ओके सो रशिया यूएसए ब्राजील और कैनेडा कौन सी ऐसी कंट्री है जिन्होंने सनसाइन प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट पास किया है मेकिंग डे लाइट सेविंग टाइम इट इज सैंस फॉर द डी एस टी ओके सो करेक्ट आंसर द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका द यू एस एनिटी अन Unanimously passed a law making daylight saving time DST permanent. It has scrapped the biannual practice of putting clocks forward and back, uh, con uh, coinciding with the arrival and departure of winter. After it is signed into a law practice of the turning clocks back by an hour, uh, hour to standard time every November will stop and DST, which starts in the March, will be uh, we can say that in uh, affect all particular year of the round. Okay, so you have to understand USA. is your correct answer is it clear okay so uh, which is the first state which is the first state in the country to us uh, crop diversification index okay so andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu or punjab so there are the four options over here you have to select the particular answer so correct answer is the telangana you can identify the description for the first time in the country telangana has begun recording crop diversification patterns in the form of as uh, index according to the crop diversification index that uh, that show a states grows 77 varieties with about 10 crops mostly grains are preferred for diversification the index will serve as a base for future crop diversification in the particular state okay so let us move on the next one uh, which country is the largest importer of arms globally as per the cipri uh, trends in the international arms transfer 2021 report usa india uh china and the israel okay so there are the four options over here correct answer is the india you can clearly check this uh, uh, question uh, stockholm international peace research institute cipri released the trends in the international arms traders uh, transfers 2020 one report okay so you have to uh, mention this cipri data on the arms sales okay so let us move on the next one so uh, geneva conventions which was seen in the news recently is related to which field digital currency rules for combatant behavior during a war climate change export import policy so correct answer is the rules for combatant behavior during a war so let us discuss the description for the particular question uh, the geneva conventions are a set of principles highlighting the norms for combatant behavior during a war during the ongoing russia's armed invasion of ukraine several civilian infrastructure and non combatants have been impacted there is growing concern around the issue of human rights violations so you can see the picture over here geneva conventions let us move on the next question uh, ins jaisalva has arrived at the port of anjuan as a part of mission sagar 4 port and juan is in which country so you have uh, you have a uh, four options over here uh, please give the correct answer listho uh, bostwana comoros and djibouti okay so correct answer is the comoros so please see the photo over here regarding the indian navy as a part of the mission sagar 4 indian naval ship jaisalwa arrived at the port anjuana commerce on 14th march 2021 uh, to deliver 1000 metric tons of rice on official ceremony of handling uh, over the food uh, aid from the government of india to government of commerce was held on 15th march 2021 okay to ye sari cheeze aap ye log yaad rakh sakte hain let us move on the next question Uh, what is the theme of global recycling day 2022 okay so celebrating uh, our recycling heroes recycling fraternity uh, don't waste recycling every day so correct answer is the recycling fraternity okay so this year uh, this year the events focus will be on the recycling fraternity those who put themselves on the front line to recollect or collect we can say that to waste and recycling during the multiple lockdowns okay to yahan par aap dekh sakte hai reduce reuse and recycle on the 18th march 2022 okay let us move on the next question Uh, India is the host country uh, for the fight chase fight chase olympic 2022 the tournament will be held in which of the following city or uh, sorry which of the following country we can say that okay uh, bhubaneswar 
चेन्नई पुणे और न्यू दिल्ली ठीक है कौन से कंट्री के आ, कौन सी सिटी के अंदर अगर मैं बात करूं इंडिया के अंदर कौन सा ऐसा सिटी है जहां पर आप लोगों को ये फाइड चेस ओलंपिक 2022 जो है वो टूर्नामेंट हुई थी ये चीज़ आपको वो यहां पर बतानी है इज इट क्लियर सो करेक्ट आंसर इज दी चेन्नई इंडिया हैज बीन पिक्ड एज द होस्ट नेशन फॉर द फाइट चेस्ट ओलंपिक 2022 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द फोर्टी एडिशन ऑफ द ओलंपिक इज शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड इन द चेन्नई ओके सो बिफोर वी सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस सेशन बिफोर वी कम्प्लीट दिस सेशन आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द लॉ एंट्रेंस एम बी एंट्रेंस टीस एग्जामिनेशन और गवर्नमेंट बैंक एग्जामिनेशन एंड इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द बी बी एंट्रेंस होटल मैनेजमेंट एंट्रेंस बी एड एंट्रेंस एंड एस एस सी जी एल सो डोंट वरी मैन ओवर एजुकेशन इज यर एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर कोर्स is so google form link is available in the description where you can fill the form very easily as per your requirement and our counseling team will contact you and will definitely guide you okay and if you are the new family member of the manavar education so please subscribe our channel in the youtube and we have a also social media platform where you can get the regular updates if you are looking for the online line live classroom coaching so just contact on 8828581455 and if you are looking for classroom coaching in the mumbai so we have a three centers borivali vasa and didad so you can visit our center also and you can also visit our Website, which is called the manoveredu.com so that's it for the today's session thank you jai hind take care always welcome